Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. When we last left off, we took a little bit of a joyride, hopefully, out of uh, Umbrella's clutches. Unfortunately, well, it didn't exactly go as planned. In fact, it somehow got significantly worse. Yes, yeah, so our escape plane was hijacked uh, by some kind of self-piloting system autopilot system there we go got there in the end and we ended up in another um umbrella lab somehow situated in of all places antarctica yeah i suppose the only way it could have really been worse than this is if we'd found ourselves in an umbrella lab on the moon anyway let's start exploring we don't have much to our name we used way too many bowgun rounds on that uh, tyrant, sadly, but hey, it is what it is. Let's start opening some doors. Eh, we don't want to come in here yet. We don't want to come in here yet. That's uh, a little bit sequence breaking. Uh, now, yeah, I mean, we could go in there, but there's nothing we can go do in there yet. We want to go through here. Have a little look in this pleasant room. Yes. And look, look how good this looks. Oh my god. You know, like Claire's model is just really nice. Uh, will we ever get another fixed camera perspective game? Um, probably not. Oh, hey, sir. Yeah. Yep. Well, Claire, if you needed any proof, that all held broken loose in this place. Uh, I guess here it is. Even though you've already heard the moans of zombies, but shh. Oh god, there's a map there, but I don't know. We can't get it yet, because that gentleman seems to be in the way. Oh well, let's start grabbing some stuff. More bullets, which is nice. What else do we have? Even more bullets. American wolf bullets, no less. I hope they're good bullets. They certainly seem to be. A little bit lacking in power, but that's okay. Uh, another pack of bowgun explosives there. And there's more bullets there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Hey, sir. I was wondering when you was going to get off your ass. There we go. Yep, you can see just how good this gun is. You don't really need to use it in burst mode. Like, it's just such a pointless mode three times that guy got up three times jeez i think he was hungry for lead well he is he should now be satisfied come on you brain munching bastards come on come on plenty of bullets for all of you there we go that's what we're talking about yeah you can just fire this gun so fast Bad, bad, bad reload. Bad reload. Uh, definitely gone through a good few rounds here. But that's okay. We've got them to use them. There we go. Music starts to fade out. Nice. Nicely done, Claire. Nicely done. Unfortunately, we did go through quite a lot of ammo. Uh, down to 204 bullets. Well, that's fine. So, what have we got here? Worker's Diary. October 30th. When I joined Umbrella Inc., I thought that I would be able to live carefree for the, first, uh, for the rest of my life, being employed by this huge corporation. It's a joke that I end up being a driver at a place like this. I asked for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. I w uh, work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. Mm, I've had jobs like that, my friend. Uh, November 3rd. My hard-earned vacation was cancelled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility head. Alfred, that fool, doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. November 5th. I heard an interesting story by a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. 
He says that there is a man who has been confined for over 10 years, locked up in a cell located deep below here. People call him Nosferatu. And are definitely afraid of him. What an absurd story. November 10th, at midnight, I woke up to an ominous growling sound that seemed to be coming from a deep underground. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anybody would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined to a place like this. Yeah, you're not wrong, dude. You're not wrong. Okay. Well, yeah. Not, not a place I would like to work, to be honest. It's quite a mess. That it is, Claire. That it is. Any other goodies? Yeah. Definitely a worker's lodgings. Imagine living here and, you know, being under the, uh, well, the, in the employment of someone like Alfred. You ain't ever leaving here. I'd imagine if any of these guys ever came up to retirement age, it would just become uh, experiments now. Let's go deeper underground. Unfortunately, heading down here is one of my least favorite parts of the game. Everybody has uh, nightmares about this part of the game, I'm sure. Right, let's head through here. Save room. Okay, we've got some nice stuff in here. We've got some more bowgun rounds, which, I mean, bowgun rounds are always cool, I guess. Yink, 30 of them. Uh, just because if you really need to spam <laughs> something, there's always the bowgun, I suppose. What do we have here? And the amount of ammo we have for it. We might actually use it in a minute. Um, Alexander's memo. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-virus. To camouflage their research, they established Umbrella Chemical, Inc., And my control pad has turned itself off. Because of course it would. Uh, I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. Oof. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers as there is a great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honourable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the ooh, similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. Mm-hmm. I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of a beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, who I wish to revive so badly. I am confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name, and that honour will be restored to the Ashford family once again. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that, buddy. We shall see. We shall see. Right, make sure my stream deck is actually working this time. It is. Cool. Right, so, interesting stuff going on around here. I do like the design of this place though. It is very, very much in line with the Spencer Mansion. Oh, there's a herb back there that I probably don't want to forget. You know, it's quite hard to actually see items in this game. Which I don't think was much of a problem actually in the uh, original release. It's just all this like weird film grain that they've added to everything. It really does muddy the picture up. Pretty bloody significantly, actually. Uh, uh, what's our health? Health is... Well, we're on caution. Let's eat that. Bring us back up to fine. Um, 
Okay. Let's make some more of those. Uh, yes. Yes? No. Okay. No, we're not going to take the bow gun with us. I thought it would be a good idea, but... Uh, just ten arrows, just re or ten bolts, I should say. Just really isn't much, you know? Um, combine. You know, I guess we could go zombie hunting. With... That, I suppose. Now... Got 20 bolts there, but there's only actually 10 uh, explosive arrows left to mix up. But that should be fine. Uh, Inventory is going a little bit mixy matchy up here. Let's try and sort this chaos out just a little bit. Uh, weapons. We could actually take the knife with us. Is that all we have? We don't really have much, do we? Uh, we do have the empty fire extinguisher. That's actually a, a quite a useful thing to have. You know what? We'll take the grenade launcher. Just because coming up is something a little bit unpleasant. Right, let's shift this out of the way. And see what's making all this bloody noise over here. I mean, for God's sakes, man. Whoa! Fuck me, it's Pinky. Nah, it's more like the brain. Jesus. Butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me, as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago. Then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all of your family members at once. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. At first I thought that I should kill myself to apologise. Then I realised that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. I think after this video, we can push the switch, but nothing's going to happen. I think after this video, I need to crack a window because, my God, it's devil. It's devil? Yes, it's devil. It's hotter than the devil's asshole in this room right now. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, God, here we go. Right, run. <sighs> Remember these assholes? These moths? These things suck so much fucking goat penis, it's unbelievable. I hate these moths. What they will do, if you're unfamiliar, is they'll actually lay an egg on the back of Claire's back. Now... When the egg hatches, it has a chance of biting you and poisoning you. Which really sucks, because there's nothing you can actually do about the egg on your back. You have to wait for it to hatch. Now, just kill the moths, right? Well, you can. That is a valid strategy. The only trouble is, every time... I thought there was a herb here. Maybe not. Every time you leave the room and come back, the... um Ah, hey guys. The moths respawn, which is really bloody annoying. You can see just how much these uh, bowgun rounds curve into the target. Always thought that was funny. But this HD remake does illustrate, if nothing else, the auto-aim. You alright, buddy? You had enough? You good? Yeah, he's bleeding out. He's had enough. Cool. Alright, well... Let's go check this room out down here. Weapon! Ooh, there's a crate up there. Very interesting. So, what's through here? I don't hear you ask. Oh, hey, sir. Yeah, you're a little bit too close for the wonders of the bowgun. 
Get the fuck down, dude. Uh, right. Let's continue using up the bowgun ammo. Just because we can. We can, so we will, you know. Uh, now this is a spicy room. You get the mining room key. Very nice. Oh, come on, dude. Take your medicine. I got some steel for you. I'm assuming these bolts are made of steel. Would make sense. Something strong and light. And you, sir. A little bit for you, too. Not sure how these bolts kill them. Because we have to destroy the body or destroy the brain to actually destroy a zombie in this game. Whereas you can see she's just shooting them anywhere on their bodies. Never mind. Anyway, now we have the assault rifle. Very nice. Well, you would think this is very nice. Um, it's not that much cop against uh, AK-47, yeah. It's not that much cop, to be honest. It's good against zombies and dogs and probably some other fairly basic stuff, but it's, it's you know, it's not like the sub how good the submachine gun was in the original RE, anything like that. Anyway, look at this. Missiles are lined up here. I wonder what they plan to use them for. Me too, Claire. Me too. What have you got there, sir? Take the detonator. Why, yes. Yes, I will. What else have we got? It's locked. Explosives are set, but the detonator is missing. Well, we'll just uh, put that little sneaky sausage in there then, like that. The explosive is heat sensitive. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, there's not a huge amount we can do about that right now. Never mind. Anyway. Let's keep this party wagon going. Do we have everything from this room? We've got the AK. We have... Uh, we've got the key as well, which is what we wanted. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's go back to the previous room. Now, we're going to go meet another foe. Now, these things suck. These things really suck. And I hate these things with a passion. Uh, gas mask lock releases if a gas leak occurs. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on. Come to mama. These are pretty nasty. Nasty little... Squealy, bloody, horrible things. Oh, you... Now, that did kind of make short work of Spider. Now, interesting thing to note, using your handgun on these things is not that smart, and neither is using the AK either, because you can blow all sorts of bits off them. You can even blow them in half, and they're still really lethal. They're very hard to kill with basic weapons. Ooh, dear. No. No, no. That's why... When hunting these things out in the field, such as this... Ooh! Oh, right, yeah. There's actually one under the floor there. And I don't believe you can kill it either, which is a little bit awkward. Two packs of handgun bullets. Not going to say no to those puppies. Okay, and we've got some more. bowgun ammo as well because why the devil not right now we've pretty much pacified this area we definitely want this thing take the barcode sticker um yes yes we do look at this massive spider web here They're obviously experimenting on these spy oh look spiders quite significantly blue herbs yeah, I suppose. I think these are both blue herbs. No, you've got a green and a blue. Okay, it would have been kind of useless just to give you a blue herb because you can't use them on their own. Uh, seems to be a cultivation capsule. 
What kind of creatures are they raising here? Uh, these big spiders, I, I would say, Claire. That will be my guess. Let's just try. Oh, God. Not quite sure what happened with the frame rate there. Right, we need to go back to the item room. Because our pockets are pretty full. Okay. Uh, actually, let's just keep this handy. Just for now. Right. Um, We need to stick that. On that one, I believe. Yep. Storehouse. I'm pretty sure power's still out. Yeah, no power. Can't operate it. Right, let's go back. Let's go challenge those moths again. Or butterflies, whatever the hell they are. I'm pretty sure they're moths. That's no, back this way. Now, the only trouble with these moth things is, like I say, you can kill them. But they every time you come back into this room, they're back. And they're just so irritating. You can tell the developers expected you to have issues. Because there's an unlimited amount of blue herbs there. Right, one second, guys. Cool. Now, let's open up this box and start jiggling some junk around. I guess... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it never really hurts to have those in there. I don't think we really need the grenade launcher. Uh, you know, is it... Mm, it is only a single slot item. Uh, right, let's drop this back, because we don't really need that. Um, hmm. And the pistol is more powerful than you'd give it credit for, to be honest with you. Uh, we will keep that, because we're going to eat that. Yum. Um, hmm. We're going to go use that now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to come up against anything nasty. Not just yet, anyway. Uh, unless you consider the moths to be nasty, in which case, yeah, we're going to go deal with them. We're going to be dealing with these for a little bit, at least. And I bloody hate them. You know, <sighs> there seems to be a, an irritating enemy in pretty much every Resident Evil game. Alright, chuck that key. Ooh, oh yeah. I remember this room. This room's full of dogs, I believe. It's frozen room. How Claire's not freezing her tits off, I have no idea. Honestly. She should be like freezing to death. But hey, you know. I didn't I d I didn't make the rules. Now, what do, I don't think we can activate this yet. There's a... Yeah, so... Poison gas. In case of emergency, seal off. Right, yeah. So we know where to get the gas mask if there is a gas emergency. But we don't have anything to actually seal up a gas emergency. Not yet, anyway. You didn't think we'd get this far in a Resident Evil game without a valve, did you? Ooh. Yep. There are doggies. Arrow. Now, when they start growling, it's kind of like warning you. But, you know, I think in this game, the dogs are the least threatening they've, like, ever been in Resident Evil. I mean, you can pretty easily dispatch them with a knife no worries at all but let's grab up all this stuff anyway there we go i think there's like a ludicrous amount of herbs in this uh area we've got like two here pretty sure there's at least another two we've got like 240 bullets for the handgun uh stay frosty claire I remember more dogs. Absolutely remember. Ah, yep. Hear that. Shoot. Come on, dog. There we go. Claire's handgun is just OP. It really is OP. 
Oh god. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh look, another two herbs. How five herbs in one room. Jesus, they I, I guess they were expecting you to run into a little bit of trouble here. And to be fair, they're not exactly wrong. Okay, is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. It just leads right round. Yeah, so five herbs. Damn, I thought there was like three or four, but five. Fuck me. There's a lever for the generator. Let's get this puppy started. Good thing she still works. Lovely. Alright, that'll do Donkey. Come on, Claire. Let's try and get out of here somehow. There we go. There we go. Power's been restored. Yes, let's twist this knob here. Eh, more of a lever, I suppose. And get the frick out of here. Hopefully we can turn some bloody heating on in this place, because, like I say, Claire's not exactly uh, equipped for these Arctic conditions. And look, we have power. Finally, there's power. Yeah, we need to go back to the save room, which actually is pretty good because we're nearly out of time to be 100% honest with you. Uh, yeah, it might be a little bit of a short video, but that's the way the zombie's head explodes, I guess. Okay. Got these bloody moths again. Yeah, look, you just fucking bastard comes right at you. Fuck you, you little parasitic penis munching bastard literally i thought we were going to get away with that now it's going to hatch we're going to mash the button because we mashed the button and caught it quick it didn't get poisoned usually you get poisoned if you let it bite you okay let's start spreading these herbs out yeah Now, when I, I mean, I must admit, this is probably is one of the harder Resident Evil games. Um, if you're new playing it, or if you're not familiar with it. But because I've, you know, I've played this so many times. And only recently I did mostly, mostly play through the game again. Um, so, yeah, I've had a little bit of time on my hands recently. I haven't been able to use my computer, so what else was there to do apart from play um, Zelda Skyward Sword? And oh yeah, I got the sexy, or my girlfriend brought me the sexy Zelda Skyward Sword Joy-Cons for my Switch. Oh my god, they're sexy. They're so sexy that I don't really want to use them. Okay, cool. Now we have power. Let's go push this button. You've pushed the switch. Ooh, ominous. What could he possibly have have locked up in his own quarters? Uh-oh. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that's pretty horrendous, but would you expect anything less from Alfred Ashford? Now his groans as well are pretty bloody freaky, aren't they? Oh. Well, hopefully we don't have to fight him later or something. Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of are out of time now, so I think we're going to drop a good old save. We've got 17 ink ribbons, and I think we've left some behind as well. You really can save this game pretty generously if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, there, I guess. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching, and as always... Till next time.